Hello, citizens of the YouTube internet. And uh, this week is, of course, in America, a big holiday week, the week of Thanksgiving. I'm going to try to get a few videos out to you. And I've got something new with a little spice to uh, hopefully spice up your November. So this is a Jeskai Drakehaven deck. Oh boy, oh boy. It doesn't actually have a lot of madness cards or synergies with discarding other than making drakes, but otherwise it plays out like a control deck. So we've got a bunch of the best cycling cards and Drakehaven. Uh, a few little pieces of spice. Molten Vortex. Discard a land, two damage to any target. Uh, combine this with the Drakehaven and you can fire off a bunch of lands and uh, turn those dead draws into useful cards. Friends Prodigy, of course, discards things. Pull from tomorrow. Hopefully we'll see amazing shenanigans with that. Little Nambo with the Vortex, which is why we only have one Vortex. We just want the uh, Vortex for certain situations. There'll be times when we don't even use it. I mean, we can just pitch it to Cathartic Reunion if we draw it early. So Sensor has Cycling, so that's automatic. Harness Lightning is just a great removal, so we'll keep that. Reunion has the discard thing, where if you go Drake Haven into Reunion, draw three, make two Drakes. Fevered Visions to keep the fuel going. And because I love this card, if we're going to have fun, let's have real fun. And Renewed Faith to keep our life total high and make Drakes. And then we got some Sweepers with Radiant Flames and Outburst to keep the opponent from going off. Cast Out and Hyro can cycle if you need them to. Nahiri combos with Drake Haven to just crank out a Drake every turn as you loot and do other Nahiri things. Disciple, because sometimes you need to win the game if they kill your Drake Havens. And a Chandra Flamecaller, which, uh, aside from being awesome, has that zero ability to discard all the cards in your hand and draw that many cards plus one. Well, whatever you discard, you can make Drakes. 26 land, because we don't want to miss our land drops, and we have a lot of card draw and cycling in the deck and, and uh, filtering with Reunion uses for land like Vortex, so we don't mind drawing too many. Let's get right to work. We have 26 lands. It's one of the only times I condone that, but again, we've got Reunion, we got Extra Draw, we got Vortex, and we're running all the tap lands we can kind of fit into the color scheme, like uh, four Evolving Wilds and four uh, Man Lands in Fumarole and uh, Neil Spires. So, Creature Lands is what you're supposed to say now guess. Um, so a lot of tap lands, pretty slow deck, not sure what'll happen. This is a new contraption. I'm gonna be honest, haven't tested it much, just mostly a few cards here and a few cards there, bringing it together, and it, there wasn't anything I really felt like playing for your video today, so this one got the nod. Now, speaking of getting the nod, can we get the nod from an opponent? Stay tuned. What sort of a timer shall I put on this shenanigan? Um, let's see. I think we'll set it to one minute. Oh, up. Oh, never mind. Perfect. Perfect. Let's battle. Homeless Jace, here we come. So as I'm recording this on Monday afternoon, played another ridiculous amount of arena on Sunday and Monday. So I'm a little burnt out, but that's okay. Still wanted to get this video done because I won't be around on Thanksgiving most likely, or over the weekend. And I'm uh, very, very work type busy. Ah, no. No. Don't do that. Uh, all right. Let's go find a human. A few minutes wasted. Hope you can watch me at double speeds on the great and wonderful YouTube. Return of Homeless Jace. Just nobody, everybody's just lost their spirit. Nobody wants to pick out an avatar anymore. Nestor... Alright. Let's duel. We are on the play. We have the visions. We have a way to cast it. This is perfect. I don't love having Disciple, not one bit. Might get pitched to a reunion for showing up to the party too early and overdressed. Let's see what our opponent does when we're deciding red or blue. <clears throat> hmm. Black, 
Maybe a winding constrictor. Let's go red. Maybe a gifted aetherborn, maybe a glint sleeve siphoner. Something like that. You want to have harness lightning there for. And hey, payoff! Um, we'll play the white in case we see something that inspires us to cycle a cast out. Can't imagine what it would be. But I also can't imagine every single card in duels that can be played on turn two without trying really hard. My, I, I would look in agony like this, like this sorry, sorry, sorry human right here. Alright, black, white. Are we going to Lone Rider? Are we going to Aetherborn? Are we going to anything? Servant! Zombies! Of course. Of course it's Zombos. Yeah, that can die. You do have to be careful about how you pace your, spe your spells against the zombies, but we have sweepers, so I'm not as worried about making sure I hit the right zombies with my removal as I would be if I were playing mid-range or aggro, and I just want to get this visions off without being harassed. Without being harassed by the zombie player. And it also means, I don't know, enchantments are reasonably safe. They usually run anguish on making, but that's about it. Maybe they run some cast out too, but that's pretty, I would say that's pretty abnormal. Usually anguish on making is the catch-all that sneaks into the zombos. So what's your, what's your turn three? Probably the best would be a Colossus. It's gonna be a Crypt Breaker, all right. What else you got? A Binding Mummy, yep, here come the critters. Do I care if he draws more cards? I mean, if he's paying life to draw cards with these, that doesn't bother me, so... But discarding to make zombies may. Hmm. I don't know. This is a unique situation. Let's uh, get to the end step and look at our card. Alright, now let's have a think. Love to hold up the sensor. Man, I have so many sweepers in my deck that I'll feel kind of silly taking this out, but... Mm. I do feel like I should do something with the mana and not let him get too far ahead in this game. So let's keep the lightning coming. Stockpile some energy. Again, I don't want him discarding cards to get under fevered visions and make zombies. I think that's the best use of that card right now. And we'll hold you up. Maybe we'll catch him. Catch him napping. Well, zombies, you've had all the suspects so far. Is it time for Lord of the Accursed? What do you play for four? Are you a digger of graves? What? Kalitas? Something? Anything? I suppose we shall wait patiently and twiddle thy thumbs. All right, we got Liliana. Not a very threatening card to us. So let's see if he decides to tick her down. Yeah, that makes more sense. Fevered Visions can kill her, which I suppose is fine. I'm not necessarily trying to win off damage. All right, we get to catch you on the way back down. Which you could say I should hold that sensor for the next uh, five drops because those are very good, but I am I'm, I'm fairly confident I, I'll be able to deal. Like, the, if they go wide with those zombies, hopefully we pull a flame collar on them. We'll get rid of you, even though you don't do much to us. There we go. Okay. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Is there anything you could drop that is haste or something crazy like that that would really punish me for tapping out? I don't think so. So I'm going to hieroglyph to hit my land drops. I just want to get my lands in play. And there's a few of them. This one comes in untapped, this one comes in tapped. We'll go with tapped. And I guess we'll get another red. And we'll do that before we draw off the visions, because there's only one mountain left in the deck, and if we drew it, we'd feel really silly. Hey! There's a haven in the house. 
Might set up a turn of Radiant Flames and Haven next turn. That could be fun. Now let's settle in, because uh, the zombie player is a thinking zombie player. They're not not just in a not just a hideous, disgusting, rotting face. They're a hideous, disgusting, rotting brain as well. Binding Mummy will do its work, but we can guess now we're not going to see the Lord of the Accursed. Yeah, Dire Graph, that makes sense. Is that going to be too big? Ooh, it's too big for flames. That makes it a saucy one. Anything else? Or are we... No, we do have a land drop, but it's a tapped one. So they may still have the big five drop follow-up. I think we have to take a turn, unfortunately, to cast you out. I'd prefer not to. I'd prefer... I guess I could play this Drake Haven, make some blocks, and then, but, hmm. Oh, wait, let's think about that. If we play this Drake Haven, we can cycle and make one Drake. We can block or ambush this. We can also just play Chandra and nuke the board. Then he plays something else. Then maybe we, like, maybe he rebuilds with that freaking uh, enchantment. Leona's Mastery, then we Radiant Flames Drake Haven. Feels weird to throw away my Chandra though when I have this option where I could just cast this out, and if he plays Liliana's Mastery, I can Radiant Flames it all away and play Haven next turn. Yeah, I think it's a cast out turn, but let's go to end step. See our extra card. Ooh. I just take six here? No, I don't think so. But we can just save cast out and play at some point in his turn. That way if he has like anguish on making, he just wants to get cast out back and get his diagraph back, we blow it up as well. I don't know. Aether <clears throat> For a guy who doesn't play many white spells and likes his lands untapped. Yep, let's make some zombies. I do want to see if we can just psych him out by holding up like Gear Hulk or Avis in mana. Just see, see how he wants to play. If he still wants to just charge in there, I kind of think he has to, but we'll see. It probably keeps him from sending in something like a vent. Nope. Nope, he bold. He says, I'm going vents first. Into the combat. <laughs> Alright, cast out. You two will be cast out. It's a subdivisions by Rush. For all of you who think I've just temporarily lost my mind. Just more musical. Just more musical happenings in here. Alright. Flames Haven. Right? I think for sure. I mean, if we play Chandra, he can just attack it and kill it with Vent. So let's wait till we can do that and protect her. And we'll see if he can find an answer to the Haven. Again, if he pulls an Unmaking, he, he actually has some interesting choices. And there's Renewed Faith. Buff that life. Was looking for one of those. Your next move, zombie boy. Is going to be a Plague of Belcher. So, I wonder if you, there's ever a world where you're supposed to power up Shambling Vent and then put the counters on it. Hmm. Especially with me tapped out, could attack me for two, then put the counters on the vent and have a 5-4. But, I'll probably kill it anyway. So, I don't think it matters. But now it, I don't know, now it doesn't match up. I can block it with two drakes. And as we fall to 10, opponent to the 18... 
And then back down to the 16 from the Fever Visions. Okay, now what do we do? Well, we drew a land. Hallelujah. We don't have a ton of synergy with the Haven, but making a couple drakes will do fine. Again, playing this Flame Caller, it'll just die to the vent. I'd rather play it at a different time when it's more likely to survive and take over the game. Um, so, Cycle, 1. Renewed Faith, 2. And then 1. So that uses up all of our mana. If we want to make two drakes and cycle these two. If we just want to cycle this, it's three. If I put out a Jace, maybe he has to spend his turn killing it using a... Oh, he probably just uses a Fatal Push. It's probably not a very good use of mana, to be honest. Better to make the drakes and cycle the cards. So we'll, set, we'll fetch first, and we've got a lot of white cards here. Although, I know that there aren't as many in the deck, but I guess I'll get the white mana. you got to play your hand, not necessarily by what's in the deck. <clears throat> Nahiri. Sweet. Although not great use for it right now. If this somehow survives the turn, say he throws fatal pushes and stuff at the drakes, maybe there's a place for dropping a Nahiri exile and his boy. Yep, power that stuff up. Come and get it. Come on, come on, come and get it. Alright. Start here. Cycle here. Threaten the magma spray I don't run or something. <laughs> Alright. Let's jump in front of you. I'm fine with him to keep on attacking with his vent. I, I know it is kind of keeping me from playing Chandra, but it's not that big of a deal. This vent uh, it costs him three mana a turn if he's using his mana on that. He's not using it on other things. And I'm not in a rush. I, I can't wait to Chandra and do crazy stuff, but I'm, I don't need to right this minute. Everything's okay. Uh, time to reflect. After damage. Okay. There's something you don't see all the time. Definitely don't need the red. Got an all uh, blue and white style hand. So we'll get you on the battlefield. And I think we get you on the battlefield too. I don't think Sensor is going to do anything at this stage other than cycle, but I'd rather play in a Hiri than figure out how to make one Drake off the Sensor. Uh, we could pitch the Sensor, but actually I think we can pitch... We're getting to the point where Disciple is going to be good. I think we'll pitch the Outburst. It also may just give our opponent a false sense of security, seeing a pitched out Outburst when we have another. But yep, Disciples starting to come around. Be a boss type card. Cemetery Recruitment. Crypt Breaker, I'm guessing. Might be Wayward Servant. I guess it depends on their hand. Can't let Jace flip. That that I do know. Jace, Jace starts flashing stuff back. Jace can flash back this Renewed Faith, for example. Put me out of range. At 10, I'm still... I'm still, uh, I'm half dead. There's, there's room to go to kill me. But at 10, things can go wrong. 16, a lot harder.
Yeah, I feel like the noose is tightening for my opponent in this game, but we can't let up. Who knows what's in that hand? And zombies are capable of building a heck of a board if you give if you take even a turn off or two. Shambling vent powers up. Shambling vent on the move. Does he shift his focus to Nahiri? That's a that's a question mark. It's always questionable whether or not Nahiri has a good ultimate in your matchup. Yeah, I'll just stop the damage. There'll be plenty of drakes before this one's over. They're 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 expendable. All right, two more. Uh oh, Jace gonna flip. Um, yeah. Let's make a Drake. Hmm. Just thinking a little bit, lots of options going on with which way we want to take to win the game or to try to put the game away. Uh, and it's hard to tell. Obviously, just generating a bunch of drakes is probably very hard for his deck to deal with. And when you compare that to do we play Disciple and use Disciple to do a lot? Do we draw a ton of cards with Pull from Tomorrow? They're all like strong options. I think I'm going to go with the super wide drake option. Uh huh. So I'm just going to nerf this for a turn, and I'm just going to pass as is. If our opponent does nothing, we'll probably pull from tomorrow, have a huge hand, go to end step of next turn, discard a whole bunch of stuff, make a whole bunch of drakes, and see if our opponent has deck in stone or some creative way to defeat it. And um, speaking of if they have a way to defeat it, what can they do about the current situation? Uh, last turn wasn't that um, intimidating. Cemetery recruitment, cast a crit breaker attack with event, not explosive. So unclear if they have the firepower for this battle, the way it's shaping up. Always questionable if you knock out Nahiri. Are there good cards in the deck to ultimate for Nahiri with? Um, we have both of the cards, uh, Disciple and Jace, that we would ultimate Nahiri for. So right now, Nahiri has no ultimates. It's just looting and making a Drake every turn. Here comes a Lord of the Accursed. Yep. Second Lord of the Accursed. Well, putting a little bit of a hamper in the pull from tomorrow strategy. Although maybe, you know what, I bet we can pull plenty. Still planar outburst, blow up the board, and then discard and make dr plenty of drakes. So five down to four. So four, that's 11, 12, 13. It goes down to 12, discard five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. So I could even play a land after all that. Okay. And then I have the Nahiri loot too. So may yeah, I can play the land and even make a bonus Drake if I want to. Seems good. We're not making a Drake from the pull because we're just blowing it up. The discard on the pull, I mean. 
But when we discard the hand size at the end of next turn, after the planar outburst, gonna have Drake's. It's gonna be Drake land. All right, let's do it. And the lands can go. Definitely a tapped one. Not gonna need. Not gonna have time for that stuff anytime soon. Down to 14. Untap. Alright. We're gonna want to... We can play land, I think, but I'll recount here in a minute. We're gonna want to plus this and this. Attack for two. Because we're gonna blow up the board. Nuke the site for more of it. Okay, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So yeah, we're gonna need four mana to do that, so I think we can still do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. One more land. And what do we want to keep? Probably the other Haven. We don't need the two lands, so those two can go. The big wing cons can go. Um, I guess sensor is probably unnecessary. There we go. Ah, oh, three. After all that, I miscount. My ability to math is just way off these days. But thanks for hanging with me, everybody. I appreciate you not giving me too hard of a time about it. The Drakes are coming. The Drakes. And our opponent has seen enough. The Drake army showing up in force, having blown his zombies into tiny bits. Drake's over zombies, you saw it here. And let's go for another. Hopefully we can get right in and do a quick one. Oh, good old joining session screen. Let's put the timer on it. You got one minute and one second to show me results joining session screen. Uh, for one minute, I can say we did another playtest of Arena. They didn't introduce anything new, and I only... And so that was... There wasn't a lot of excitement. I just got to play with Ixalan cards a bit more. Um, More things I learned about Ixalan. Just beat the opponent down. Like, <laughs> um, If you are playing a tribe like Merfolk and Vampires, you get beat up if you try to play some kind of a value game with going too wide, it's better to Voltron, it's better to play with cards like One with the Wind, it's better to play with cards um, like Vampiric Zeal, and just like go at them hard, just try to run them over. I don't, I think I took all the removal out of my Vampire deck, it went with a Vanquisher's Banner play, so that one's really good on the go wide and the lifelink. Hey, we found somebody with six seconds left. Um, but in Merfolk and in Pirates, I'm running stuff like One with the Wind and Pirates Cutlass and just trying to smash our opponent into the ground before they play too huge of dinosaurs. Anyway, let's keep that. It looks like pretty generic Jeskai control, but we play a control game sometimes. The real question is, what land do I start with? And I think it's the Prairie Stream. Oh, that makes it easier. So now I can fire off the Spire. Not be blue mana list on turn two, thanks to the hub, in case something does, in fact, need to be censored. Our opponent showing us the black green. And it is a long tusk cub, so things are going to get real fast. That's concerning. Um, hmm. Yeah, we'll play it like this. But this might be a case where we need to Radiant Flames more than we need the blue mana. So, in a bit of a pickle from the mana. And uh, would have been a lot better if I played the stream first. So, missteps. Always with the missteps. 
So Tapland, he does not play Winding Constrictor. Okay, good. Anything else? Well, crap. So, answers to Cub in the deck include Planar Outburst and Harness Lightning. I have to find one of those if I make this play. Answers to the Copter are pretty much just the Harness Lightnings. I guess there's Cast Out too, which goes both ways. So I have less answers to the Copter. So we'll have to make that play right there. And it's I'm not happy about it. I'm not happy about it. Ugh, the dagger, just a, just daggering me for for uh, the way that I sequenced my lands. Just the daggers. You think land sequencing I could do better at? Ah, hurts. And you'd think I'd love this black green matchup, and I do, but I'm shooting myself in the foot. Let's see if he has the Bristling Hydra. Didn't have Tireless Tracker. Didn't have Winding Constrictor. Figure there's gotta be something else in there, but maybe he's afraid of Planar Outburst. Maybe. Bold. He's not afraid of a magma spray. He's not afraid of uh, shock, which I could have had there. Maybe he has blossoming defense. Kind of sends a message that he could have something like that. Okay, just going straight to four. We're not going to see out no energy. Oh, I see. He's going to do some rampaging. Both things that get around flames, making flames a bad card. That is not good. We're going to need outburst. Now he has to decide if he's going to pump his cub or just play the Rampager. If I were in his shoes, I'd play the Rampager, but let's see what he wants to do. He, she, it, Blaze, whoever Blaze considers Blaze. Nissa. Well, it's good if he finds a cub, that's for sure. Ugh, you're late. The, the strat here is Hieroglyphic Illumination, get three looks at Planar Outburst, that's the strat. But he didn't put down the Rampager, which... Uh, that would have uh, clocked me a lot quicker. He's trying to just ride the cub. Uh-huh. He's playing around Blessed Alliance. No shame in that. But not pumping with Nyssa. He's going to make another plant instead. Maybe try to save it till he can put out a snake as well. But this whole game has gone super south. Train only goes up for that cub, and uh, it's going to be a runaway cub game. Going to get smashed by a cub. Okay, that doesn't do anything, but cute that you just want to burn your mana. Planar Outburst. <coughs> Denied. Another one. Great, just to, just so I can be more disappointed. Um, hmm. Maybe I can scare him out of it. He thinks I have Blessed Alliance. So as ridiculous as this sounds, I could Radiant Flames away his tokens and leave up mana representing Blessed Alliance. And that's kind of a, it's a bluffy play, 
I'm really curious to see if he goes for it. Sometimes it's sometimes the bluffy play is the play. Or if he chooses to make a he might choose to play around it. He played around it last turn by attacking with the plant, but that was a very low cost. This is a higher cost type of situation, where if he chooses to play around Alliance here, he's giving up a lot of damage. And you can see he's got a he's got kind of a decision. Like what would you do? I basically used a Radiant Flames that wasn't doing me any good to play as if I had it. Now does he call the bluff? He does. See, there you go. So a uh, little bluffing little bluffing tip on today's uh stream with CGB here. And I bet he keeps this out there now. Now that he is convinced I have Blessed Alliance. We'll see if it actually pays off in any way. I still have to get really lucky. But let's try to get lucky. Denied. <laughs> there will be no luck. Well, can't cast you. How about that? Um, Basically dead if I don't... I guess I take one more stab at Planar Outburst. Hmm. He doesn't have any energy. I can cast this out now and play around Blossoming Defense. He can put this up to 7, though. But, I mean, if he wants to pitch it, that's not a big deal. I'm going to play around the Blossoming Defense and get this off the board now. See if he can find a way to kill me. Yeah, you don't have any energy now. You don't have the energy for it. Now, uh, you can minus here. One, two, three, four, five. If he has defense, six, seven. If he has two defenses, eight, nine. But that's not dead. He has the Gear Hulk. That's a lot, but still not dead. I'll be at three. I can play Disciple with two mana open. Yep, down to one. I still get another rip at Outburst, too. <clears throat> Got a squeaker on our hands. Can I can I make that bluff pay off? It's probably the best thing I've done all day. Um, not yet. I'm pretty much dead to a blossoming defense with this line if he doesn't let me tap one of the creatures. Which I am pretty sure he has it. So the argument is, am I better off taking a stab at drawing the outburst? Yeah, I'm better off taking a stab, because then I end up chumping with this anyway. So all it does is buy me another draw anyway. And that will not do it. If I draw Harness Lightning, that won't do it. Yeah, there's nothing here. All right. Good job to the opponent on this one. Bad job to my land sequencing, but hopefully, hopefully you can pick up something in there. How to not sequence lands, but how to make a, a compelling bluff play. And let's see if we can do our one more for game three. <sighs> yeah, we can get red and then hopefully draw to white. 
Carthartic Reunion, I don't think I've played yet in a single game. We're going to pitch the Molten Vortex almost for sure. It's too early. We have no desire. And we're like a two-land hand, so it's not like we're ever going to use it. And then on the other hand, probably Renewed Faith. Probably those two cards can go. In case we don't find white mana, Renewed Faith might not be relevant for a while. Cast Out can be much higher impact. All right, 26 land. Will we find them? We did. <laughs> I'm ready for my festering beatdown. Come and get it. Come at me, bro. Or sis, or whatever. Whatever you feel like being. Come at me, you dirty, rotting mummy with a lightning. I mean, this art is... It's the lightning behind a mummy. The lightning's way cooler than the mummy. That's my opinion. Should be on a better card. Should be on something that hits really hard. Alright. Well, no use for three mana this turn, so we'll go Spires. Disguise our blueness. Or no, our blue's right there. What am I saying? Sometimes me and words don't mix, everybody. I'm most certain I'll get a lightning target this turn because I don't think the zombie deck keeps a hand where the only pressure is a festering mummy. We got off the hook last turn. We won't get off the hook this turn. And there's a wayward servant. Yep. Away with you. You wayward servant, you. Say you go. Ready to renew some faith up in this. See what better cards we can cycle into. And it is a Lord of the Accursed Post combat. <laughs> Don't think our opponent <laughs> thought about that one enough. But, eh, who knows? Maybe they were watching for something. Give me a card. Alright, sweet. Almost forgot I had two of these. I can cycle the other one if I'm not going to lightning. Disciple's back for vengeance. Hasn't gotten to kill anybody yet today. And is probably none too happy about it. I think I can wait. I'm at 21. I just gained a whole bunch of life. I can... If my opponent powers up the vent, we can shoot it. Yeah, we can wait. Mm-hmm. Well, that'll have to be cast out or harness lightning. <laughs> That's it? Okay. Um... <laughs> Mana efficiency or removal efficiency? This can target the vent, so we'll hang on to it, and we'll play this instead. Still don't want to cycle that sensor anyway. Don't think so. Hang on to that. Zombies generally needs to curve out. Holding one mana up can be a tax for them. It's unclear so far if my opponent's wise to the sensor or just playing what they have. So here's land drop five. Let's see. Is it time to ball out with Eliana's mastery? Yeah, now you're getting frisky. We'll take it. Still trying to see if I can get them to devote a little more to the board. If it's mastery, though, I have to counter it because it makes the Lord a 3 4. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. I could play the Disciple and say what you got. I think that's pretty good. Our, my opponent, I think they smell the Sweeper. I think that's clear. 
So let's see how they handle this. This kind of asks them to put more stuff on the table. Mm-hmm, you think about that. <laughs> <laughs> yep, now we're in the end step. If you change your mind, grasp. What else you got? Anguished. Uh huh. So we will go ahead and tap your boy. He doesn't want to tap the other one for some reason, so we'll tap you. But now we got an idea. Had a bunch of removal in hand. Wonder how much more there could be. and we used all our renewed faith so that's important to remember but I think we say go again just nursing this waiting for a little more commitment our opponents playing around they're goofing off Let's see if we can mess them up So it's such a coward. Let's see if he uh, cares about this. Let's see if he does anything about this one. Menace, you say? So that was the plan. Alright, I'll take two. It's a slow burn. I can wait. Patience, patience, patience. Dark Salvation for one. Um, I could just lose that and then flames. Yeah. Ah, whatever. I don't need that needle spires that badly. We're getting into flamesy mode anyway, and there's another removal spell. Hallelujah. Your turn, Zombo. I definitely have a phase where it's like, come on, pull from tomorrow. Just give me some big stuff. Alright, that's annoying. Get you out of the way. He does get another zombie, but well sequenced. Waiting till after the the. Uh... Let's go ahead. He's gonna play around sensor the whole game. We'll cycle it now. I'm gonna need something else though. <sighs> Brutal. All right. Get rid of you. And see what that last card is. Is it something relevant? Now he has to think. If he has a removal spell, it's an easy attack. If he doesn't, he has to decide if he wants to trade his vent for this. He probably doesn't want to throw this zombie away. Let's look at the graveyard. So, we already used three Harness Lightnings, 
which is our straightforward answer to vent. We don't have a lot of other answers to vent. Normally, I would hold this out, but since he does have a lot of removal in deck, and this is showing me that he doesn't have one right now, and we don't have a lot of answers to the shambling vent left, I want to take this route right now before he draws a removal spell to get through the spires. Alright, how about not land? No, well, that's not land. Didn't mean to play that land, but that was pretty foolish, but oh well. Now we're ready, as soon as we draw something that we can cycle with. Wish I had that vortex back, but I s still, early in the game, I think you just toss it. Alright, he's coming with the unmaking. He's leaving the Lord exiled. Wow. Weird sequencing all the way around, but it's effective. He's in good position. Drew both unmakings. Does he have a follow-up here? Nope. Alright, do we have a card that's useful? Nope. But we'll hang on to this one. Alright. Two more draw steps, probably, to find something useful. Alright. Let's not mess around. Interesting. Alright. I think we want to hang on to this. Um, hmm. nah, let's just get the lands out. And get optimistic about Chandra saving the world. I know, I could have held it to discard to Chandra, but I think Chandra's on board wipe duty first, and hopefully we'll survive. Okie dokes, that comes back. That could get annoying, but that, as long as it doesn't kill me right away. Ooh, alright, thanks. I'd rather play Chandra and use the zero and start making Drakes and plus her to deal damage, so. But right now, if I mine Chandra for two. I actually think Chandra's better because Outburst can take care of bigger threats. Like, if he gets back a Diagraph Colossus or plays like Lord of the Accursed or something. Chandra's loyalty might not cover it. Do I want to awaken? I think I do. I think I do. Alright. What you got? Not really worried about haste out of the zombie deck. And it is another removal spell. Not surprising. <coughs> Excuse me. No fatal pushes yet. We've seen Anguished, Grasp, and Dark Salvo. Which, that's a good set. A good set of removals. Doesn't necessarily need to play more than that, but we'll see what our opponent wants to do. Drew a card. Okay, so they're going to... They're going to have uh, some critters back out there that I have to clean up again, because the zombies, they do not stop coming back, everybody. They come back and they come back again. It's good to have his unmakings in the graveyard, though. That's pro no, never to return. That could be a Chandra beating. But we're going to make him top deck it. Ooh. Ooh! Well, I have no interest in discarding this. Could do it for five, make a zombie, but I'm at four. That's too risky. So, yeah, we'll go the Chandra route. Kill those. 
he'll bring back the Wanderer, and he might even play another thing, but we can start getting into Drake land. Mm-hmm. That comes back. Is that it? That's it. All right. Could just minus it, keep the board clean, and then take a big old yank. Or I could plus it. Well, I can make a drake to block anyway. If he has grasp, I'm not dead. I'm just at two. Yeah, let's go after you. Let's not play like a coward forever. The combination of cards you would need to deal four here. I don't see it. You know, catcher's name, some some shenanigans of that nature. All right. It's not. It's kind of a lot of draw. It's not. It's a lot of air. <laughs> not a lot of game breaking here. Yep, there's a fatal push. We found that. So does he have Inoketra's name? Something like that? Like the perfect card to break this? Okay, we're at two. <laughs> we could make a whole bunch of drakes. Is that the right line? What does that even draw me? On the other hand, we could put our opponent at four, which seems pretty darn close to dead. It's a pretty good line on its own. If he has a... like, the card that beats us is a Declaration in Stone. So I think the right line, the honest right line, is to put our opponent on four and then D up with everything else. But I, I really want to do this interaction. I've wanted to for a long time. So we're going to. It loses to Declaration in Stone? which I don't think my opponent has but we're going to we're going to we're going to put it to the test because I wanted to I wanted to do this one time today. I hope you'll forgive me if I get beat now for having too much fun. And uh, yeah, uh, now this gets around declaration stone now that we have something else to discard. Look at them doing the wave. Na 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 na. Hey hey hey, goodbye. Na 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 na, uh. Na 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 na, Drake's. Hey hey hey, goodbye. Trying to beat zombies for the second time today. Trying to assert the dominance of flying lizards over undead corpses that have been animated to life in some um, way. What way would that even be? Haha! <laughs> Alright, so for the for the sake of um, completion, finish this off. For the sake of closure. Ah, there's the servant! Oh! Does he have you can get back the Dread Wanderer. We go to one. If he had one more one drop. Nope. Guess not. And then we do need the sensor here because now our opponent's at 11. But we can just make dorks with Chandra again. Outburst in the nick of time. Chandra on the plus. Here comes the pain. And the Drakes assert that they have amazing closing speed. And this one is over. I hope you guys enjoyed today's games. Uh, some zombie time, some snake time, some good time. More of a long tusk cub time than snake time. He didn't draw the snake, but it was cub time for real. All right. 
Uh, try to get back at you with a video tomorrow, hopefully Wednesday as well. And But if I don't get to three this week, you'll forgive me because it's a holiday week. And hey, Just Guy Drakes, how much can you, how much can you really expect? All right, I'll see you later.